President Recep Erdogan gifts Qatar's Emir Turkey's first ever electric car as he lands in Doha. Rights activists hit back at Western media for lack of criticism against Olympics 2024 host France for migrant worker abuse. Qatar climbs three places in the world passport power. And El Mekhia signs Dutch striker Naufal Benis. Hi, it's Fatma and you're watching The Roundup. Here are today's top stories from Qatar. Turkey's President Recep Tayyip Erdogan landed in Qatar as part of a regional tour designed to pump up investments from GCC states. The Turkish leader met with Qatar's emir in Doha on Tuesday where he revealed a gift for Sheikh Tamim, Turkey's first ever domestically made electric car. Adding a touch of symbolism to the moment, the emir personally drove the Tog car alongside Erdogan, steering the Turkish-made vehicle to a meeting where relations, trade and investments were on the agenda. Rights activists say Olympics host France has appeared to fall under the radar of Western media outlets that previously launched mass campaigns calling for the boycott of the FIFA World Cup in Qatar. Following a press investigation published on 5th of January by the French newspaper Liberation, a scandal erupted concerning extensive violations committed by French companies against migrant workers employed in the construction of Olympic Games facilities for Paris 2024. However, speaking to Doha News, rights activist and lawyer Khaled Beydoun said the shocking accusation have not made headlines, as was the case for Qatar 2022. For the full report, head over to our website. And now, Qatar has climbed three places in the World Passport Power rankings, positioning itself in 52nd place on the global list. The Qatari passport now provides citizens access to 103 visa-free destinations worldwide, with countries like Japan recently announcing visa exemption for holders of the document. And in sports, El Merkhia on Tuesday announced the signing of Dutch striker Naufal Benis on a five-year contract. The 21-year-old moved to El Merkhia from Dutch side Feyenoord, for which he registered nine goals and four assists in the last season. That's it for me today. For more stories, head over to our website, dohanews.co, and make sure to download our app for your daily updates.